guys, welcome back to my channel. I am still a little sick, but my voice is a lot better. But please bear with me, I still have my little squeaky moments. So today I'm doing another rehaul video. This is from a haul I posted on April 18th, which I will link down below as usual. And I have all the items written down on a notebook um, down here, so if I look down, that's why. I don't have everything with me, just because I am still on my internship and I didn't bring everything I own with me. But the items I still have, um, I will show you, or I will let you know if I've decluttered anything, passed it on, thrown it away, returned it all that jazz and let you know how I feel about the items a year later. So there are a ton of items in this haul and it's kind of like amazing to me that I was on a low buy and I thought I was doing pretty good because like the list of everything I bought is like a whole page long. So I obviously wasn't doing as well as I thought I was but it's kind of fun to see how far I've come since then just looking back on the haul and kind of what was motivating all my purchases even if they weren't all makeup and they did not break the rules um it's still definitely probably don't need to buy any of this stuff um maybe not any of it but a lot of it so i'll get into that as we go along so last year for easter i went to visit my grandparents who live in the state of new york and while i was there i really wanted to go to rite aid because there were no rite aids in Minnesota and try some Jessie's Girl items and I so um, I went to Rite Aid with my sister and my dad and I got two nail polishes one was in the shade Santorini which is kind of a light blue shade and I do really really like that one it's a cream formula and um, I don't have it with me but I do really like it I'm looking forward to using it when I get home but then I also bought a jelly bean it was, I think, a special limited edition collection. It was the Jelly Bean collection, and I got the Grape Shade, and they were jelly polishes. And I can't say that I really like those. Um, I didn't really have any jelly polishes, and I've always been curious about them. So I decided to try that one, but I don't know if it's the color or the jelliness of it, but it's just not the nail polish for me. And I think I still have it, but I may, might not. I might have decluttered. It. I can't remember but I can't check because I'm not at home. And then I ended up buying this color tattoo from Maybelline. It's in the shade Black Orchid. I kind of fallen in love with this. I saw it in a couple other people's hauls but I hadn't been able to find it. Even though I was on a low buy it was kind of on my radar and every time I went to a drugstore or any place that sold Maybelline I would keep my eye out for it and I couldn't find it. But um the day I flew to my parents or grandparents' house, I was watching a video from Meg's Makeup and she had bought it at Wegmans and there's Wegmans where my grandparents live so I went to Wegmans and sure enough they had it. I got the last one and if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know that I really really love this color tattoo. So even though I didn't need it and I probably shouldn't have bought it, I've already hit pan on it. I use it a lot. I think it's beautiful. It's like my favorite color tattoo I've ever owned. So I don't really regret it in that sense. Did I need it? No, but I do really like it and I am planning on trying to finish it off sometime this year. I used this a ton during the month of March while I was um, using my one month one palette of the Laura Mercier palette. I wore this under all the purple shades and it looked beautiful but it works well with a lot of different shades because it's not super purple. I'll do a little swatch of it. Um, it's got a purple tint to it but it's not super super purple so it work it's pretty versatile. It has gotten a little dry but I have used my um, Inglot Duraline with it so that you know helps keep it creamy and makes me like less in a rush to finish it off even though I still plan on finishing it off sometime in 2016 if I can. So the next few items were uh, from an order I placed with Urban Outfitters. So for Christmas I got a sweater um, from Urban Outfitters that I returned and so I got store credit. Um, I bought two eyeshadows with it earlier in the year, I think it was in January, from Art and Sea. But I still had some money left on the store credit gift card that I wanted to use up and Urban Outfitters was having a sale I think on their beauty items or something like that. So one of the items I purchased was from Number 4 which is my favorite hair care company. I discovered it through Birchbox and I got the blow dry lotion. It's just kind of like a heat protectant type leave-in conditioner product and I, it was full size. I have used it and I do really like it. I don't have it with me because I'm trying to use up some other stuff. Um, I definitely didn't need it because I have so much of that kind of product. I just tend to get a ton of like little spray bottles of leave-in conditioner, heat protectant, you know, that kind of product from Birchbox and so I have so many and I definitely didn't need to buy that but I purchased it because um, 
I saw that I carried number four and I love number four and it was um, I don't know if they were sold out of shampoo and conditioner or if I like didn't want to pick I don't remember what made me pick this item in particular I don't think it was the best choice but I don't remember my reason exactly I'm not sure if I said it in the video but um, I'm still happy to have it and I'll definitely use it um, I'm working on a different spray right now in my project pan roulette but I'm almost done with it so hopefully I'll finish it off before I go home and then when I get home I can start working on that one and then along with that I purchased this um, tapered highlighter brush it's the F35 from Sigma and I love this brush. I, it's the only brush I use for highlighter anymore. I used to use, I had like a fan brush, but this is just so much easier to use. I just really like it and it's just perfect. So I actually got rid of my fan brush. I sold it and now I just use this. And so I don't really regret this because I use this on a daily basis with my um, highlight from my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, which I is in my Pan That Palette project. So this haul was in mid-April. So this was after, so I have items from the Sephora VIB Rouge Sale, and as you know, my plan last year for my low buy was to buy one item per month, and then I was trying to save all four of my items for the April sale, which didn't exactly work out, but before the sale started, um, about a week before the sale, I think Ulta had their 20% off Platinum Perks coupon for high-end items and all of that, so I... I had a few things on my wish list for the Sephora sale that were sold at Ulta and the Sephora sale was only 15% off so I realized it makes more sense to buy it at um, Ulta. So I went to Ulta, I was there for a long time, um, my husband was selling his car so I dropped him off, or so he drove to the car dealership and I was kind of killing time to pick him up when he was done so I was in the store for a really long time so I think that kind of made me end up purchasing more than I might have otherwise but the main reason I had gone into the store was to buy this lipstick. It's from Urban Decay, it's in the shade Liar. I have used a little bit of it. Um, when I got it, it was like flush with the packaging, so you can see I have used it, but not a ton. Um, I'm really bad at using up lip products and reapplying them or remembering to wear them at all. But I really like this. It's a really pretty neutral shade. I have worn it a bit in my internship because it just kind of is, you know, nothing shocking. It can be worn in a professional environment. But um, this was the main thing I wanted to buy at Ulta because it was cheaper than buying it at Sephora. And I had had a little sample of it so I knew that I liked it and the shade worked well on me. And then when I was there I also ended up purchasing the Revlon Skinny Liner in Electric Blue. Um, I wanted that for a really long time, I think maybe a year or so. Um, Megan from Meg's Makeup 8 had had that and I kind of fell in love with it seeing her use it. So it had been on my wish list for a long time. Um, I didn't impulsively buy it but I didn't probably really need it either. But I do really like that product. It's not something I reach for a ton but it's kind of something fun to use and it adds a little bit of a pop of color and it's a great shade for the summer. So I don't know. <laughs> Did I need it? No, but I do use it occasionally so I can't say that. It's just been sitting there gathering dust. And then I also bought the Simple Sensitive Skin Eye Makeup Remover. Um, and I probably did I mean, need eye makeup remover at the time, and that is the worst eye makeup remover I've ever used. It's, um, for sensitive skin. It says it won't sting your eyes. It, like, has all these claims on the front of the bottle. And it stung my eyes more than any eye makeup remover I've ever used before. It didn't do it every time, but I think just if it got in my eye a little bit, um, it just hurts so much. And other eye makeup removers, I don't have that issue at all. So I thought it was a little weird that the sensitive um, eye makeup remover was like the least sensitive for me. So I'll definitely never purchase that again. I probably should have returned it after I realized how bad it was, but I kind of just kept putting it off and then I used so much it was like, I'll just finish it off and deal with it. Um, because if I was very, very, very careful, I, I wouldn't have it sting my eyes, but I don't have to be that careful with all the other ones I use. So I don't know what it is about that one, but I definitely do not recommend it. And then from Sephora, I purchased a few things online. I bought the Shiseido Facial Cotton because they didn't have that in stores. And I've used up that pack and purchased another pack. But I have heard there's a dupe for it at CVS, so the next time I'm out, I'll probably be going there instead of Sephora because it is cheaper. I'd always wanted to try that facial cotton. It is obviously more expensive than cotton balls, but it lasted me a really, really, really long time. 
um, I would cut each square into two pieces and use one side per eye. Now I am too lazy to do that and I just kind of put two separate blobs of eye makeup remover on it and use you know half of it for one eye and half for the other eye. Um, but you know even though it's like nine dollars for a bag of facial cotton it lasted me a really really long time so um, I think it was kind of worth it and it is nice and it's kind of like a treat yourself thing. It's definitely not something you need. It's you know kind of a luxury item but I do really enjoy it and I've continued to use it since then. So then I went to an in-store event for the sale and I found myself wandering around and there really wasn't anything I want. They didn't have the Shiseido Facial Cotton in store so I had or I ordered ended up ordering that online. So um, I was just kind of wandering around the store for a really long time and I wasn't really drawn to anything which was kind of a weird experience for me. Um, but I really wanted to buy some things so I could get the free gift bag because there was a lot of really great samples in it. So that's basically what drove me to end up buying something and it was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I bought this to replace the concealer I was trying to use up at the time but that ended up lasting me you know, several months, like almost till the end of the year. So I definitely did not need to purchase this. I am using it now and trying to go through it. I do really like it but it was definitely like a premature backup purchase that didn't need to happen and the main reason I wanted it was to get samples. But I do like the formula. Um, it's not like amazing to me, but it is good. Um, I probably won't repurchase it immediately after I use this up. I do want to try some other formulas, but I have been enjoying it and I just didn't need to buy it at the time that I did buy it. And then I also bought a mini of the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant. I thought I really liked that, but I realized um, that it really doesn't work for me, so I'm never going to buy that again. Um, but at the time, I, like, I don't know what it was, but um, maybe I just wasn't running around as much. But when I started my internship and I was, like, walking, like in the hospital was where I kind of noticed that it wasn't working for me because I was walking around a ton and I remember on rounds um, one day I just realized that my deodorant was not working it was kind of embarrassing I don't I mean I don't know if anyone else noticed but we were all like in cramped quarters and I was running around probably you know working up a little bit of a sweat and yeah, so I don't recommend that, I, and I definitely regret buying that little one. The little one I think I kept in my gym bag, and I don't know if something happened to it too, because, um, like it melted or something, because it got really, really flaky, and I ended up throwing it away long before I ever got close to using it up, so I definitely regret that purchase as well. And then I figured I'd mention I got a bunch of freebies and samples. I got a Benefit Body Mist, um... I've used it a couple times, but I didn't bring it with me because I brought other stuff I'm trying to use up. I got a Tarte Cheek Stain Deluxe Sample that I didn't really think I liked it, but I tried it when I was home in December, I think, and ended up like falling in love with it, so I really, really liked that. And then I got a little zip bag, and it was full of samples. It was There was a full-size nail polish in it, um, a ton of other samples. I didn't go through and write down all of them because... Um, I probably don't have, I probably worked through most of them. I'm pretty good at like rotating through my samples, but I thought I would at least mention that I got that one of those bags. I actually got three of those bags. I sent one, I did a giveaway that I sent one of them to, and then I don't know if I kept two or if I gave one to my sister. So I think I gave one to my sister. And then they also didn't have the Cinema Secrets makeup brush cleanser in store, so I ended up buying um, the kit that came with. Um, a medium sized bottle and a little tin to pour it into and that size of the bottle is definitely a rip off it's much more economical to buy the huge size so I used up that whole little bottle and now I do have the big size and I'm over halfway done with it I am obsessed with this it changed my it had definitely changed my makeup life <laughs> um, I use gel liner all the time now and it used to be a pain because you know I wouldn't wash my brush like once like, you use your brush once with the gel liner, you can't really do it again because it gets all dried up and stiff. So with this, I can, you know, clean it at my vanity really quickly in 5 to 10 seconds. It's really amazing. I highly recommend this stuff. I love it. I don't use it to clean all my brushes all the time, um, especially big face brushes. It, it sucks up a lot of this product. So what I use this for, I use it on almost a daily basis with my um, gel liner brush. I... I usually do it every other day, so what I'll do is I'll use it. The next day it'll be dried up. I use it um, 
wait for it to dry, use it out with on my eye, and then I clean it again after that. So I don't have to like deal with this every day. And then I also use this for, I think it works really great for brushes that have cream product in it. Um, so I use it a lot for my cream blush brush and the brush I use with um, color tattoos or to blend out eyeshadow sticks or something like that. It just gets them really, really clean. I do occasionally use it for other brushes. Um, I really only need a tiny amount for those eye brushes. So if I over pour it, I'll just grab whatever brushes I have around and clean them off. Um, but it's really great if you're kind of, you need to clean something and or change colors or something really quickly. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend to use this all the time to clean all your brushes because if you use it on your face brushes, you'll go through it really, really quickly. So it was about a year ago that I um, was the match date for internships and I had a little deal with myself that if I got matched to an internship, I would allow myself to splurge and celebrate with a NARS Audacious Lipstick. So obviously I got an internship and so um, after that, the sale had started. I think uh, the sale started on a Saturday and I got matched on Sunday. So I went back to the store on Monday and I picked out this um, in the shade Jane. And I really love this shade. So you can see it there. And I kind of used actually Liar in the store to compare it to fix, pick a color because I knew I wanted something that was, you know, something I could wear on a daily basis but I didn't want it to be exactly the same. So you can see it's like kind of in that same range, but it's just, it's like, it's like a nude or natural color, but it's really bright too at the same time. So I think it's pretty unique. It's very different from any other lipstick I have. And I really liked it. And so I bought it. I kind of had in mind, like I wanted to use it a lot during my internship. I thought I might use it up during my internship and it'd be like my internship lipstick, but that didn't really end up happening. Um, I didn't, wear a ton of lipstick lipstick I guess during my internship. I just found it was like a little too fussy. I was, didn't want to be looking in the mirror all the time so I used more sheer things that were easier to apply or like kind of tinted lip balms. But I did use this, you know, more than once. I used it a, a handful of times. Um, it's definitely worn down a little bit but not a ton. You can still see the NARS writing on it. So I definitely, you know, should I have made that deal with myself? to get a lipstick when I'm really bad at using up lipsticks and I had just purchased the lipstick? Probably not, but I think the formula on this is really good. I think the color, I like the color I picked out, oops. Um, so I don't regret it in that sense, but maybe I could have just, you know, celebrated with a glass of champagne instead of a lipstick that'll be with me for a while, but I do like the lipstick, so. And every time I use it, I do have that, remember that really happy feeling of finding out I was matched to an internship. So I do like it for that. And then when I was, I think it was during the same purchase as this, or maybe I made a third trip. I don't really remember. But I went and I bought the Benefit Dallas Blush. Um, because I've been wanting that for a while and I don't really know what prompted me to decide to buy it then. But I bought it and I used it a couple times and it just like didn't really show up on my face. It was really frustrating. It was one of those things where it like didn't show up and I would add more and more and then all of a sudden it would be like go from zero to 60 like this and it'd be like, oh I don't see it, I don't see it, ah! Like, you look crazy. So it just wasn't what I wanted or had in mind. I had seen it on a lot of videos around then. I think that's kind of what drove me to buy it. Um, but it just doesn't work for me so I returned it. And when I returned it, I didn't have this in the haul. I returned it after I had filmed the haul, I think. Um, but I returned it the day I dropped my husband off at the airport. He went to Scotland and I brought it with me and I stopped at the mall on my way home to return it. And I saw this little palette, the Laura Mercier I Art Artist palette. Um, it was the last one they had on the shelf. So many people had bought this during that VIB sale. I'd seen it all over and everyone's VIB hauls I felt like had bought this and were raving about it. When this first came out, it sold out really quickly. It was kind of one of those things that everyone was like, oh, I never bought that, I wish I had. And the people that had it were like, oh, I love it so much. So it was kind of like a definitely a YouTube hype item. So that's what, you know, definitely per like made me purchase it. Also, like I was obviously not I think I kind of wanted to pick me up since I had just dropped off my husband. I was going to see him for a long time. So I picked this up. I definitely didn't need any eyeshadow, but 
As you guys know, I use this as my one month one palette in March, and I like love it. It's one of my favorite palettes, I think, ever. So it's hard to say that I regret it because I love it so much, but I do recognize that it was a purchase I shouldn't have made at the time, if that makes any sense. Especially since this is still available now, I believe. It's not a limited edition thing. Or if it is limited edition, like, they made a ton of them and they're still available, so... I definitely didn't need to buy it at the time I did, but I am happy to have it. I really enjoy it, and I definitely might, like, this would be a palette I wouldn't mind panning someday. Like, that's how much I like it. Then I had gone to Lush again for a few more items. I got another Blackberry bath bomb, and I really like that bath bomb. And I also got, and I also got one of their Easter bath bombs. It was an egg that you crack open, and then you use half of the egg each. So there's two bath bombs, and then there's a little one in the middle. So you get three total. So I love their bath bombs. I like that. I would definitely think about purchasing it again. I haven't been really purchased any Lush in the past year because I haven't been taking baths. Um, and those are the products I usually buy from Lush are their bath products. So I'll be going home soon, so I might get back into using those types of products, um, but it has been a while. Um, then I had an influencer item that I got. It was a package of Carefree Panty Liners. I did use those, and, you know, they were panty liners, not much to say. <laughs> and then the final thing I bought was from Shiro Cosmetics, which is an independent makeup company, and it was um, the Cheek... I forgot what it's called. It was like a contour powder. It's a very gray color, um, and it's from the Benedict Cumberbatch or Sherlock Holmes. I don't know exactly what the, the collection was called, but it's in the shade Do Your Search. And I don't have that with me. It's not something I use a lot. It is kind of, um, it's very gray, so you have to be careful when you use it and how you use it. But I, did I need it? No, I definitely didn't need it. Um, I it was more of a want thing. I have watched Sherlock, but I'm not even super into it. I don't know, like, what made me really buy it, but I'd seen some people talk about it, and, um, just the gray color of it I found interesting to use as a contour shade. So I think it's a fun thing to have in my makeup collection to play with and use sometimes, but it's not something I use on a daily basis. So it's definitely something I could have skipped, but, um, I do use it from time to time, and, you know, I think it's a fun, kind of different thing to have. It's definitely not, like, anything else I own. So, kind of the theme of this whole haul was, like, I like a lot of it. I still really love a lot of it, but a lot of it I just didn't need to purchase at the time that I did. So I've definitely come a long way in that sense, and it's kind of fun to see that from looking at these old hauls. So that is it for this haul. Thank you guys, or re-haul. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye!